Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for all things gaming. Today, we're diving deep into a hot topic that's been buzzing in the VR community, the potential PC support for PSVR 2. This news broke on February 23, 2024 by Peter Graham, sparking debates and discussions across the board. So let's break it down, and I'll throw in my two cents as we go along. First off, let's set the stage. The PSVR 2, Sony's latest foray into virtual reality, celebrated its first anniversary with, let's be honest, a bit of a whimper rather than a bang. Amid updates and game announcements, one line stood out. The tease of bringing PSVR 2 support to PC. Now, if you're anything like me, your ears perked up at this. It's not every day we see such a clear nod towards cross-platform compatibility, especially from a titan like Sony. Why is this a big deal? Well, imagine the possibilities. Having PSVR 2 support on PC could open up a treasure trove of VR experiences. Those lush OLED panels and intuitive sense controllers could potentially elevate your Steamver games to new heights. But here's the million dollar question. Do PSVR 2 owners actually want or need PC support? Here's where I weigh in. The idea is undeniably appealing. The thought of harnessing the PSVR 2's hardware for a broader range of VR games is tantalizing. Yet, it's not without its complications. Hardware compatibility is a hurdle. Not all GPUs come with a USB-C port, and let's not even start on the software adaptations needed to fully utilize PSVR 2's features like eye tracking and haptic feedback on PC games. But let's cut to the chase. Is Sony pushing for PC support out of a genuine desire to expand gaming horizons, or is this a strategic move to boost headset sales? Frankly, it feels a bit like both. Expanding to PC could indeed attract a niche audience that's been tinkering with VR possibilities on their own. Yet, it's hard to ignore the timing. With no recent sales figures for the PSVR 2 released, one can't help but wonder if this is Sony's play to reinvigorate interest in their VR system. Now, here's where I stand. I'm all for breaking down the walls between gaming platforms. The more accessible a device is, the better. However, I can't shake off the feeling that what the PSVR 2 really needs isn't PC support, it's a stronger lineup of first-party AAA games. Titles from third-party developers are great, but Sony stepping up its game could truly unlock the potential of PSVR 2. So, what do you think? Is PSVR 2's move towards PC support a game-changer, or just a marketing ploy? And what games would you love to see make their way to the PSVR 2 to truly make it a must-have device? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get the conversation going. As always, if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all things gaming. This is Joystick News, signing off. Keep gaming, and see you in the next video.